Okay, so it's cardio time. This is going to take around 20 minutes. It can be done any time of the day, in any kind of place, whether it's in your, your bedroom, pumpkin, this is my living room. I just don't need any equipment. All we're going to be using is our own body. And we're going to get our heart rate up to around 7 or 8 out of 10 on the RP scale. Okay, so I'd say cardio should be done around 5 to 6 times per week. Uh, 20 minutes a session is perfectly fine. And you're now going to watch me do a full session with you. Okay, so we're going to start off with a warm up. So just a gradual warm up, slowly increasing the heart rate. We're going to do this for one minute. stretches because some of the exercises we're going to do will take the range of motion quite um, far in the muscles. Start off first with a straight leg kick out, no bend in the knee, it's going to stretch out hamstring muscles. Use a wall or a sort of post or a chair for stability if you need to. each leg, you don't need 10, swap over. That's the hamstrings, unless you're stretched off. Okay, just stretch out the hip flexors. Just by bringing the knee up, okay, so bring the knee up to the chest, and then back. One 
One more, come to the other side, another 10. Leg. I'm just going to do stretch out the adductors now. All we're going to do is transfer our body weight from one side to another. Keep a nice straight leg on the other side. Okay. Back up to stand, just going to do some rotations, try and keep the hips square, just rotating around and reaching. We're just going to do a chest stretch now, so just open the arms out. March going as well, just to keep that heart rate going up. Okay, just going to go and set the bleeper now, which is going to give us one minute indicator, so bear with me. Okay, go to a jog for me. We've got one minute. Working on a jog, then we're going to do a 15 second recovery period, and then on to our next exercise. We've got five exercises, we're going to do three cycles, which is going to last 15 minutes. Try and monitor the intensity throughout. Try and get your heart rate to around 7 or 8 out of 10 if you can. Just the jog, I get the knees nice and high. Use the recovery periods to get a drink of water, okay? It's gonna help you get you the rest of the workout. Fifteen second recovery, have a drink of water. Take sips of your water, okay? Stop any kind of stitches. Gonna do jabs now. So switching from side to side. Hands punching like little like uh, rubber bands coming backwards and forwards. Not bouncing the elbow joints out. Make a target with your hand. Speed the body 
with oxygen. Good. Recovery. I'm going to take a sip of water. Put a bit more energy in me. Skiing. We're going to do this nice ski motion. So sideways on. The really skiing down that mountain. We drive the arms into it, pull back, drive back with the elbows, intensify it a little bit, go up onto your toes, on the way up, so just skiing down that mountain, fast as possible. Race for me. My heart rate now is about a seven or an eight. For getting me a little higher, we still need to talk. Burpees. That's one option. Or if you do a full burpee, so the jump in motion, feet back together, feet in together, jump up. Too hard. That's too hard, just step it back, and step it forward. Step it back, step it forward. Or jump it back. round, we do the whole cycle again. Try and keep the knees high if you can, chest up, hops and gaze. So in 20 minutes, we should be around halfway there now. Recovery time, 15 seconds. Sip of water quickly. Side jobs now. Keep nice and fast. Just spring them arms back into forwards without locking out the joints. Take it faster if you want. 
I'll go at this pace. So just switching with our feet. This may feel like forever. Here we go. Awesome. Let's go for a knee raise again. In seconds. Jump rope. Take your arms into more range of motion to intensify it faster. Like this. You're starting to sweat when we're burning fat. Seven or eight out of ten. I'm panting, got a sweat on. We're in aerobics here, this is what we're on. Skiing. Back down that mountain. Bum back, driving with the arms. Keep it going. Need that. Let's take a bit faster. Let's overtake the other skiers. Finish line into recovery. Just keep a march for me. This prevents blood pouring. Burpees now. Step it back or jump it back. So step it back. Or jump it back. Harder option or the easy option. Don't use your heart. Stay to that. Seven or eight. You're doing well. Just getting maximum oxygen into our body. The belly drawn into the spine. Jump it back if you can. Recovery. It's a for what for me. That's we jump again. I believe this is the last round. I'm getting there, doing really well. Last round. That's up, bro. And you can see, I've got quite a lot of sweat coming out of me. That's all fat and calories. So, if you're feeling the same, you can leave this workout. I mean, you've done a good job. If you're not sweating, 
Go faster with it. Take the knees high if you can. Let's make this last round count. Recovery, drink a water if you need to. Just keep them legs going. On to our jabs next. Do really, really well, really there. Jabs, jab it, switch. Jab it, switch it. Elastic band, shooting back and forth through your arms. Nice and dynamic. Make that target. Find that person you hate. Don't lock out the joints. Feel the heart rate going down. Take it a bit faster. It's a bit too fast for me. Jumps if you can, and good swing of the arms. Come on. Keep that chest lifted, chin up, keep driving. We got two more exercises left. Make them count. Recovery. Starting to drip off me quite a lot now. So, you know, this is a really good cardio workout. Skiing. Back down, Everest we go. Drive the arms in. Let's overtake some skiers. Keep looking ahead. Come to the finish line. Let's get first place. Step it back or jump it back. If you've got energy, make the last ones count. Ah. 
Put it in. Got a good cool down now. Let's take it to a jog for me. I don't like burpees. I'll give it a three minute cool down. My heart now is about seven out of ten. When I was doing them burpees, I got to around a nine. So I lowered the intensity a little bit, probably back into the eight zone for aerobics. So I'm still a little stalked here. If it's any higher, it would have been aerobics. A little bit more lactic acid. Okay, just take the drop a bit slower for me now. two or a three, just carry on doing a march for me, and just do a couple of stretches when you're ready. I'll just talk you through now. Extend one leg forward, just take your hands, put it on the resting uh, bent leg. Take the bum up as if you're being hooked up with a fishing, a fishing rod or something, so your bum is up to the sky. You should get a nice good stretch all the way down the hamstring muscle there. Keep the chest up and the chin up, looking two meters ahead. Breathing into it. Ah, oh, that feels nice. Okay. Do the other side now. So, just put our arms on our bent resting leg. Bum being pulled up with a fishing hook. Chest out and bring the toe up as well. Beautiful stretch, going all the way down the hamstring muscle. Okay, bring it back to stance. We're going to stretch out the quads now, hold on to something if you need to. We struggle for balance, just grab our feet, one of our foot, drive the heel back to our, our bum, our glutes, and pull back. You get a nice good stretch the uh, quadricep muscle. Keep the chest up and then switch to the other side. 
imagine there's a, a light bulb uh, coming out of your knee and you want to try and get it to bang on the floor with the light. Release. Just stretch out the adductor muscles. Oh, so the inside of our legs, these get very tight in everyday life. So just spend a bit longer on them. And then other side. Space there. 